glad we got mobility this morning, huh? Hey, Smashworks crew, what's up, Tissue Ninjas? We got a full house here at, uh, at the gym, so everybody's working out, and uh, so that was cool. One of the guys here, John, just turned down the music. He remembered YouTube. You guys screw up all my stuff. YouTube, not you guys, YouTube. You guys pull all my, my videos when there's music in the background. I still can't figure that out. So, holding the trusty lacrosse ball, because, uh, well, you know what we use it for? Mashing away tissue. But we're gonna work on uh, some anterior shoulder pain and then restoring what's called scapulohumeral rhythm. It's really important. I know it's a big word and it's probably something that nobody really wants to do. Trust me, you wanna do this. You wanna have scapular, scapulohumeral rhythm. See, I can't even say it right. Um, you want your rhythm, to, your, your rhythm to move right. You want your scapula to move right because it'll affect your bench press. It'll affect shoulder mechanics because the scapula is what? Scapula is the shoulder, the shoulder is the scapula. It's that simple. So what you need to do is you need to understand that that scapula is gonna slide around on that rib cage the way it's supposed to in order to accommodate movement of the shoulder overhead, especially overhead athletes, baseball players, for example, right? They wind up and they do that crazy pitch, they get that gnarly external rotation. So um, one of you guys sent me a message actually on uh, Twitter, um, Brian. I know it's Brian, but I didn't get the name right, I'm sorry. I get a lot of messages from you guys. Send me a DM, I'll do my best to get back to you and, and if I can, great. Don't be uh, offended or upset, I'm not ignoring you if I don't, but I get about five to 800 of these uh, a day. So, you know what, I love the suggestions, keep them coming. I'll do my best to hit them as much as I can. Um, but he's getting some, some weird uh, shoulder pain and anterior shoulder pain in what's called a reverse sleeper stretch. And I'm gonna show you something. I don't like that stretch at all. So, and there's a reason for it. It puts a lot of strain on the posterior capsule of the shoulder, a ton. So you gotta be careful. Reverse sleeper is the one where you put your hand behind your back, and then you reach across, and you just drag your shoulder, like, I mean, that just friggin' hurts. You drag your elbow, rather, across your body. But it beats up the posterior capsule, and if the, uh, if the long head of that bicep is glued down in any way whatsoever, you're gonna get a gnarly, gnarly anterior shoulder pain. So I'm gonna show you how to clear that out as well. So, we're gonna take our lac lacrosse ball, and that's gonna help us unglue that scapula. Yeah, oh, it's so painful. But first we wanna get some motion in there, um, and I wanna show you, so a bigger and a, a better version of, uh, of um, helping with the internal rotation and clearing out that shoulder is the cross body stretch instead, so that uh, horizontal adduction, right? So we wanna bring the arm up like this and come across. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can just bring your arm up like this and give it a push. I realize there's there's some, some school of thought that says it causes a little bit of an impingement. Trust me, it's better than ramming the uh, the head of the humerus into the anterior joint and mashing up that uh, posterior capsule and peeling it away. You don't need a loose joint capsule on the shoulder. It's all bad. So, I'm gonna show you how to do it though with a, uh, with a band. So, I'm gonna bring this here. See, I got a bunch of bands right here. And all you're gonna do, let's see if I can do this right. We're gonna have to bring this camera all the way around to the other side. So I can show you how to do this. So we'll come on this side, check this out. It's just super easy. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a band. So you have a band loaded up at the bottom of the ring, okay? This is important. And now I'm gonna be perpendicular to the ring. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be laying on my back like this, you know, wind up into the band, and I'm gonna stay all the way down like this. So all that's gonna happen is, this is, I'm gonna be blocked out at 90 degrees, and I'm just gonna grab really far. Make sure the elbow is almost right above your face, and just let it drag you across. Try and keep this at 90 so you're keeping it close to the floor. You're gonna feel it peel away on that posterior capsule, and you're gonna feel it peel away on the front. Now there's a trick to this one. You're gonna take the lacrosse ball. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna recruit somebody. But you're gonna take the lacrosse ball and you're gonna tuck it in behind you. So that's a big deal. So I'm gonna flip around so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna use my bum wing. So if it doesn't look that pretty, well, it's because it isn't, because it friggin' hurts. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the lacrosse ball. Lacrosse ball is gonna go on the outside of the scapula. So it's gonna go all up here and it's gonna keep that shoulder blade from sliding out. So when you're doing that, it's gonna trap that scapula. This is the important part. It's gonna trap that scapula and peel that tissue away and it's gonna suck. So right now Ted's laughing because I've said that about a ton of times in, uh, in the past about how much it's gonna friggin' hurt. So we'll move this here. And you're gonna look at me from the top down. So 
Yeah, you get to look at the top of this shiny dome for a second because I want you to be able to see. So I'm gonna do this again, just so you can see what I did. So I'm like this. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, you can, look at that. So I'm like this. You're gonna let that drag you all the way across, but you can grab this band wherever you want. I'm loading it up. I'm using a small band. I want this right above my face, and I don't wanna do this. If you see how it's peeling my shoulder off the ground, I don't want that. I wanna be able to be in this position so I post out with my leg, and then I just let it drag me across without dropping my shoulder like this. This doesn't do anything. You wanna be all the way at 90 degrees here and just let it drag you across. Now the fun part is, you take the lacrosse ball and then you tuck it underneath. If I can ever get it underneath. There, oh that's just so abysmal already. Like that traps the scapula. So I go on the outside of the scapula, I wind up and I grab this. Oh, that's just horrible. And I can even push against the rig if I need to, to hold myself in this position. So now the scapula can't go anywhere. And all I'm doing is I'm dragging it across the body. So I'm gonna drag across the body and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna drag across and I'm gonna come back. And I can feel that lacrosse ball pretty much separating all that beef jerky from my body. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting the sweats because it doesn't feel so good. So I'm coming across the body, elbows real high, right in front of the chin basically. And I got a lot of tension on this band. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come across to about here and I'm gonna come back out. But the scapula is not moving, so it's just peeling away tissue. That's number one. Number two is, you don't even need to change positions. Just move where the ball is. Now the ball goes on the inside of the scapula. So now you're inside here between the spine and the scapula. And I'm just gonna take my hand, put it over my shoulder, and I'm just gonna raise and lower my arm. I'm just gonna come all the way up and all the way down. I'm gonna do this until I feel the change. And right now, it's just killing me. I'm gonna keep on doing that and I'm gonna mash away that tissue. That's number two. I know you got to see the top of my head for the half of that video, that's all right. Number three is we wanna work on that internal rotation clear out that bicep tendon. So there's a couple of ways to do this. One of the most effective ways is to use a barbell, and we've done this already. And I'll tell you, this friggin' hurts. But it's super duper effective. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, I'm just bringing this closer so you guys can see me. So you can see I got the barbell here. Sleeve of the barbell. This is important, you guys have seen this before, but doesn't mean you don't need to do it. And we gotta pull it together with a bunch of other stuff now. So you're gonna get the sleeve of the barbell up on that tendon, okay? You're gonna get it in that notch. So there's a notch right here. The barbell just kind of sits there. You can see it doesn't move. Okay, I want you to be above that. So just come up slightly. So I'm gonna hang on to this. I'm gonna drop my knee on this because it hurts more and it's more effective. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind away. Whew. And I'm gonna keep the shoulder and the arm at 90 degrees to the body. So perpendicular to the torso. And I'm just gonna grind away until when? Until change happens, or two minutes, whatever you want. You can do either or. Okay, that's number three. And that's gonna help with that, uh, that bicep, ungluing that long head of that bicep, okay? Oh, that's just so uncomfortable. Now there's one more I'm gonna have you do. And this one's gonna hit that serratus anterior and it's gonna peel it away. This one's really cool. So you guys were talking about scapulohumeral rhythm, remember? So we're doing all this to unglue the scapula so we can get the rhythm back. There's one more thing we need to do and then I'm gonna show you how to get that rhythm back and it's super important. So we're gonna take this. I'm gonna move it right over here so you can see what I'm doing. I know there's a lot going on here today. You're gonna take a band raise it all the way up and your job is going to be to take your arm and it's going to be against the body so i know it's not like the bully stretch okay so it's going to be against the body it's going to be pulling up that way so all you're going to do is you're going to wind up in this do a little shimmy spin dance move you can see where i'm going with this now you're just going to take a knee but i want it clamped against the body Okay, so you can see where the arm is. It's clamped right against the body and it's pulling it at about 45 degrees up and you're just gonna let it hang out like this. How long do we say it like this? Two minutes. So this is the bully when we pull it away and it works on that internal rotation. I don't wanna rip on that tendon too much. I wanna peel away that serratus anterior 
and I'm just gonna pull that all the way up high. You're gonna feel that all up in the side. So just to give you an idea, I'll do the other side. So you're gonna take the band, it's gonna drag you, holy monkey, that hurts. It's gonna pull it all the way up behind you like this, makes it look like you're being dragged off to prison. But you're gonna feel it all up in the side here because that serratus anterior comes off those first eight ribs and underneath the scapula. And you're gonna hang out like this for two minutes. Now we go for restoring the rhythm. All right, last one. I saved the best for last. I think the longest freaking video ever. I almost dropped a real bad word. This part's easy. You're gonna get into a plank position except on your elbows. And all your, the reason I have it on your elbows is it takes out the elbows. You're gonna hang out like this, and all you're gonna do is squeeze, protract and retract the scapula. So you're planked out, nice and hollowed position, and then you're just gonna go protract, or retract, protract. And you're gonna do this two sets of 10. And I really want you to concentrate on flaring out those scapula at the top of the motion. It's gonna feel kind of awkward. You feel kind of weird when you do it because you're gonna want to press out and you can't because you're on your elbows. Make sure those elbows and the arms are perpendicular to the floor. Unglue the scapula, drag it across the body, trap that scapula so you can actually get that. Stop doing that reverse sleeper stretch. It's gonna just jack up your shoulder. Now there's a few occasions when you need it, but we'll talk about those later. You guys need anything done? You tell me, Trev, Smashworks. Have an awesome day.